this is deviled potato recipe this has become a family favorite now and i started making this dish based on um, a dish that we'd had in an indian restaurant not too far from our home um, the good thing about this dish is that i skipped the deep frying part and used my air fryer instead if you don't have an air fryer there are other options you could use um, the oven or you could use the hob to boil the potatoes and then saute them so that you get a thin uh, coating on top of it. So we'll talk about that uh, while we discuss how we do this uh, dish. So the ingredients that you need are about three to four potatoes, really how much, uh, how many people you need to feed. So cut them into bite-sized cubes. Um, I've used one full garlic because the garlic we get here is not uh, that strong. So I've used a full garlic and finely chopped about two tablespoons peanut butter and one tablespoon soya sauce, about a couple of tablespoons of corn flour, salt to taste, some cooking oil, a teaspoon of brown sugar. You can skip that if you're not keen on the sugar and chili flakes to taste. Again, you can skip the chili flakes if you don't want the heat. I always run out of um, spring onions, so I've just put it as an optional because of green uh, onions, spring onions on top would look good on this dish. So start with the potatoes, take the diced potatoes and add about a spoon of oil and corn flour. Nicely rub them so that they get coated with the corn flour and then air fry them at about 200 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. So at about 12 minutes, I tend to check uh, how they're getting on and I warm them a bit brown like in the picture. And when I insert a fork, uh, into them, it should go in easily, showing that it is cooked. So if you do not have an air fryer and you want to use um, the oven, you could try the same temperature. The idea is to just to get the uh, um, potatoes cooked uh, in the oven. If you don't have an oven and you want to use uh, the hob, then boil the potatoes. Just make sure you don't boil it uh, too much because you don't want them to lose their shape. So just boil it well enough and then coat some corn flour, just like how I've uh, done here, and then take a pan and saute it so that you get it to the finish that you can see in the third picture there with the potatoes being a bit brown. Now, this is the most interesting and important part of the dish. The garlic is what adds uh, to the flavor of this dish. So heat a kadai and add some oil, add the chopped garlic, and cook it until it turns a bit brown. They turn a bit crispy and lend a beautiful texture and flavor to the dish. Now to make the sauce, I take a bowl and add um, the soya sauce and peanut butter. Now keep in mind that the amount that I've specified is only a guidance and obviously you can increase or decrease uh, these ingredients based on your preference. So mix in the peanut butter, soya sauce, and you will need to add some water to get into a sauce pouring consistency. So get that and then go back to your kadai, add the sauce into the cooked garlic. Now add the potatoes and mix well. At this point, check for salt. Now soya sauce uh, usually has a lot of salt in it. The peanut butter could also have some salt in it. So it is a good idea to check the salt before you go ahead and add um, the salt that you need. So if you want add the chili flakes at this stage or even before just uh, serving, you can add the chili flakes and the spring onions. If you fancy a bit more crispy texture, then you can just leave it in the hob and on a low flame so that it just gets a crispy coating. I tend to do that because my son likes it crispy. My daughter is not too keen on crispy, so I just take it uh, first for her and then leave it on the hob for it to turn a bit more crispy. And there it is. It's ready to serve with those lovely chili flakes on top. A very easy dish and it flies in my house in no time. Hope you like it.